Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, welcome to our special webinar. Um, this is Kim Hui coming to you all live from uh, Los Angeles, California. I am delighted to be on this, uh, on this webinar. And I know that uh, it's really exciting time for us with the opportunity whereby um, it is truly an amazing time because we are in a time and space whereby right now as we speak, we're able to gather thousands of people from across the globe. And, and, and yet, we are all at the comfort of our own home. So um, I want to welcome all of you coming live uh, to this special webinar. And the last six years, as I've traveled the world, you know, many times, oftentimes, people ask, what is, if, if there's something, if there's something that we can bottle um, to help other entrepreneurs to, to generate success and to achieve their dreams, um, what, what are they? And so after many, many, many nights of um, sleepless nights of really pounder on the thought of what can I do and what can I bring of value to all these entrepreneurs that are coming into this opportunity. And so with that, I'd like to share with you our exciting presentation for today, um, the uh, fundamental for success. Now, in order to achieve success over the years, I have learned that all of us, we have to in order to achieve success in life, you know, it's not so much of the how-tos uh, or the what. It's, it's of our why. I mean, logically, somehow, somehow logically, we have to be able to tell our brain. Something has to connect to, to help us to produce a result. And so with that, um, I'd like to share with you uh, something that I have discovered over the last 20 years as an entrepreneur, that, that awareness, and what exactly is the awareness? The, the awareness is a shift in perception in how we look at things. Because in life, if you want new things, if you want to achieve new height, that whatever set of old belief and old thoughts that we have in our head, we must be willing to change and, and update those softwares in order for us to achieve new results. And so with that, I'd like to introduce you to a new paradigm, okay? so. Uh, because once we are able to shift that paradigm, that the way we look at things, it's going to help us influence our actions. And from the actions, the things that we do, it's going to help us produce a different set of results that we're used to in the past. And so with that, let's talk a little bit about what is a paradigm. Um, a paradigm, to me, is a typical way we look at certain things, or a model, or pattern of things. Uh, for example, and now, you know, these patterns of different things mean to different people. Uh, for example, if I were to say uh, the word a camera, um, perhaps a camera coming to your mind may be different than, than, the, than other people, but however, a camera has a lens and taking pictures. Um, or if I were to say restaurants, uh, all of us, based on our past, we have a perception what a restaurant is, uh, what a camera is, or what a phone is, um, and depending on what age of time and age we grew up in. Uh, for example, if you were to talk about a fax machine or a, tele a, a telefax, probably my 11-year-old son would understand what you're talking about. So a paradigm is the way we look at certain things. Now, a lot of times, a perfect example for all of us that are on this call here today, on this webinar here today, uh, when you hear the word network marketing or direct selling, and to many people, they cringe. So do I. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of times, people don't necessarily have the best feeling for network marketing. Um, for myself, coming from a very traditional corporate background, I don't necessarily have a good feel about it as well. Now, so, but how do we make that shift? People say, you know, Kim, you are blessed to have this kind of success in this industry. Uh, and, and, and I am extremely blessed uh, by the industry and the time and space we're in. And so how did I make that shift? It's the way we look at what we got in a hold of. And so with that, Allow me to share with you. So, what what are what is the two major influences, and what are some of the major influences that that shape the way we look at things, the paradigm? And so, there are three major influences. First, um, is tradition, a tradition from our parents, our grandparents, uh, how we were taught, um, the way that you know 
like for me, for example, my parents taught us go to school, get a good education, get a good job, then work, you know, 40, 50 years, then retire. So those are paradigms. What are things that we were taught from, from our family, from our, our, our parents? And then the second influence that we have that shapes and forms, and this is very important, folks. The reason why I want to take a little time to go over this with you is because logically somehow in our head in our brain we've got to make that connection so you know school edu our educational system also taught us things and now as for me you know four years of college it taught me a lot of things and how i look at businesses how i look at things so school also help us shape uh, uh some of the things that we look at life uh, the way we look at businesses the way we look at look at look at everything in life and the third major influence that impact that kind of shaped us how we look at things is society, our friends, and through you know after graduate from college, through working in, in in the in the working world, or doing for those of you that are entrepreneurs that are business owners, that when, as you operate business, you you we gain experiences. Some are through hard life experiences, and some are through hearsay, you know, from things that you heard from your friends and your colleagues. So based on these different things, that it forms the way we view things. And oftentimes, it's these, these experiences kind of put a, what, what I call a, a tinted shade, uh, a tinted lens in how we view things. And, you know, uh, there was a great video I saw a long time ago. As a matter of fact, it's my son that showed me the video. Uh, a lot of times that with our naked eyes, the things that we see, it may not be true things that we see, but it, it is skewed by our, and a bias, by our experiences, perhaps our frustrations, disappointments, and things that we've learned. And so these, these three major influences shape the way we look at things. Now, so what causes someone to change a paradigm in our head? What is something that causes our change, to change the way we look at things? And this is very important because I want to take the time to talk about that because when you have clarity, on what you got a hold of. When you have clarity of what this is, it's gonna help you propel you to achieve new success, new things and new areas that we were never able to do that in the past. So what are the two major causes that, that allow us to change our paradigm? And, and to me, the first major one's innovation. Innovation, especially disruptive ones. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, disruptive ones are, are, are something that came into, because of innovation, because of technology, it, it changes the way we conduct business. A perfect example, uh, let's talk about the internet, okay? Right now, we have thousands of people across the globe, from different corners of the earth, right now, looking at this webinar. Now, how is that possible in the past? Let's just say five, five, ten years ago. How is it possible that we gather all these people from different corner, corners of the earth to come together to look at something. It literally changes the way we communicate and it changes the way we, we conduct business. And I remember I've been in, in, in this industry for a while. So if in the past I have to do a, an event, a live uh, performance to do a training, a talk with over a thousand people, what do I have to do? I have to get a venue, I have to fly to a particular place, but guess what? Now, in less a day, we have over thousands of people registered for this webinar. So it is disruptive, changing the way we work our business. And so another disruptive thing is that changes the way we look at things. For example, now to the newer generation, when I talk about a camera, they might not necessarily look at the, the way that we look at the Polaroids or the old cameras. Um, they, they think of iPhone, you know, or a smartphone because a smartphone has a built-in camera. So because of advance in, advance in technology is changing the way we look at certain things and certain models. And the second thing that, that causes us, and especially for myself as an entrepreneur, that changes the way that I look at certain models and certain things is the change in, in our values, in the environment, and the time we're in. Um, I'm gonna elaborate a little bit more about that. Um, I, I guess, I believe because of the, the, the time and space we live in right now, um, you know, for example, I'm a stay-at-home mom. You know, my husband's a physician. You know, for a stay-at-home mom, 20, 30 years ago, a stay-at-home mom, as I look at my mom, uh, they have different needs and, and different things that satisfy them. And in today's age, you know, 
now that I'm 50 years old, in the middle of my, my, my life, you know, the 50-year-old nowadays looks very different than I, as I recall when my mom was 50. And so these are things that, that because of the changes that we live in and the time and space we live in, it literally changes the way, we, it causes us to change the way we look at things and we evaluate life. And so, and, and, and truly, if we allow ourselves to remove um, the old judgments, uh, like the old lenses, the tinted lenses of how we look at things, then we will have clarity of what it is we're dealing with. So why do we need a new paradigm? Um, there's a book I read more than 10 years ago, and the book is called Blue Ocean Strategy. Now, for those of you that are, that are business owners, you would definitely appreciate this one. And, and what do I mean by that? Um, the book talked about the, the Red Sea, the Red Ocean, and Blue Ocean. And basically, the Red Ocean or the Red Sea are comprised of you know, people that are fighting for the same pie in the same territory, you know, with the same old technology. And, and I think the best way I can, I can share with you is um, this is something that in, in my travels. And, and, and last, uh, this, last year, uh, this year I think it was, a couple of months ago, I went to Vietnam for a personal trip and a business trip. And so when I went on this trip, you know, I saw we were in up in the mountains and I saw these vendors I and mean, literally, you know, 100 feet away from each other. They were selling the same thing. They were selling grilled yams and grilled eggs. I mean, every stand looks the same thing and they were selling the same thing. Now, to me, that's the best way to describe something called Red Sea. You are competing in the same market for the same thing. So wouldn't it be nice in a business environment that will allow us to compete in a whole new paradigm where the blue ocean is wide open, and, and particularly in the business we are in. And I hope that the entrepreneurs, all the viewers um, on this conference call, you really get this. Um, it might take some of you a little time to, to grasp this, but once you get it, I guarantee you, just keep that open mind um, and remove the lenses and the things. When you are able to enter a space where it's a big blue ocean, and that's what disruptive innovation will do, a new paradigm. And that's where we are in, okay? Now, what do I mean by that? What are we in? What exactly, how are we different than anything else out there? And you know, for me, the term network marketing, direct selling, multi-level marketing, I cringe when I hear those things. You know, because we have this old paradigm. And so how did we do what we did? And I remember almost six years ago now uh, when I started this business. It's right here in my house, uh, in the kitchen over there. And so how did we go about and create something of nothing? And it was in the blue ocean. Because a lot of times people were out there and to succeed in this business, you know, people couldn't phantom the idea. They said, Kim, you know, uh, how did you guys create this fortune and helping so many people to have success by selling serums? I said, it's, 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 it's furthest away from the truth. I never ever sell any serums. Because people, when we talk about network marketing, direct selling, they, they, their mindset were on the old paradigm that we're knocking on doors, we're selling, we're doing home parties and selling, none of that stuff. So how do we, how is Blue Ocean created? It's what I call the global network distribution. Uh, especially now, time, time and space we're in now with internet, with social media. It has allowed us to have built in a social sphere of network from all over the globe. Look at the screen right now, okay? So we are somehow, somewhat, some way through our family, through our friends, through our business associates, uh, through the people that we deal with, that we run into, and through Facebook, we're able to have friendships, connect the friendships for, to all over the world. Then here's an opportunity whereby a big conglomerate happened to provide a global business infrastructure with cutting edge advanced technology that allow you and I to go out there to build a global distribution with our network and getting paid for it. And so I don't know of so many businesses out there that will allow me 
as a stay-at-home mom to conduct a training to thousands of people simultaneously without traveling at the comfort of my own home. And same thing with you, wherever you are. I know some of you are in Asia. I know some of you are in Africa. I know some of you are in Australia, from all over different parts of the, the earth, connected together simultaneously. Folks, that's technology. That's disruptive breakthrough. That's innovation. Capture it. You know, we live in a space and time and space now, at this moment, we live in this era that allow us to do that. So we are in a global network distribution business. That's the business we're in. So by, by the company providing a global business infrastructure, it allow you and I to plug in our sphere of influence and building a global network and making money and building a, a global business. So that is a major shift in our perception of what it is. Because once you have clarity of what that is, it's going to help you go to the next level. Now, we are a game changer. If you look at this screen, um, this is a picture taken, I think, a month or two ago when I was traveling to Singapore. If you were in that room, and, and you know, the, the number of professionals in that room is, I mean, it's mind-boggling. The, the time we're in, you know, because, like I said earlier, the new paradigm, we're able to attract people from all walks of life. It's no longer what people thought it used to be. So this is an event that was conducted in Singapore. It is absolutely amazing. I mean, people talk about dropping titles. I tell you, if you were to drop people that have MBAs, a master's degrees, I mean, you know what, you, you drop them, you will catch quite a few, okay? Now, so there is a new wave of entrepreneurs uh, coming to this platform. And right here on the screen that you're seeing, we have, we have people that are from all walks of life. We have people that are pharmacists, uh, a, a professor of law, okay? Uh, we have artists. We have housewives, rich housewives that makes, you know, housewife of OC like amateurs. Um, we have, you know, I mean, you name it. We have people that are too young to retire, okay? We have, we have real estate brokers. We have best-selling authors uh, from Amazon Japan. Um, I mean, you name, we have traditional business owners. We have people that are from uh, high-paying corporate executives. Uh, and we have college students that are in this picture. And, and this is just a small fraction of the kind, the wave that are coming in, uh, that are joining the business opportunity. And so why is there a wave? And this is something that I have experienced the last, um, the last few years of building this opportunity. And I believe that not only is the, 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 the technology is changing the way we, we conduct our business, but more importantly, I believe there is a huge wave of awareness, of awakening happening around the world. Um, like I said earlier, wh what do I mean by that? I mean... I want us, each and every single one of us, I want you to look at our own lives, that when we are born, when we are born, you know, as we get older, then we go to school, we graduate from college or graduate from school, then we'll do this. Some of us get married, okay? Then we, we get married, we buy a house, or, you know, then we start a family, you work a job, and then what? This is the model that I saw my parents went through. And then I saw myself went through, but thank goodness somebody had interrupted that flow. And it took someone to interrupt that flow to act, you know, I, it took something, I got laid off 20 somewhat years ago uh, in corporate America. Uh, at the height of my corporate career, I was a vice president for a, a, a supplement company and I got laid off. And so it was at that time that yes, it was a disappointing. Yes, I was frustrated, but at the same time, it, there, there, was, there was a brink of awakening happening in my life. I asked myself the question, do I want to follow the same path that my parents had, had gone through? And I believe we live in, in a time and age right now that we're at the, there's a crest, we're at the crest of a wave that more and more people around the world are awakening and looking for a more meaningful life are looking for more meaningful. And I know many of you on this call, you guys are business owners, you're, you're financially set in whatever you're doing. Um, but we wanted more. We wanted a lot more. Uh, for me, you know, I, I have the option of staying home. Uh, being a stay-at-home mom, my husband's a physician. He has a medical practice right here locally. 
uh, but I wanted more in life. I wanted to do more and wanted to be more. And so with that awareness, we begin to look for, look, look for changes. And so, like I said, because of the time and age we live in now, that has allowed us to participate. There, there, there's right now, allow us to participate in this new paradigm. And so to make a change in life, we have to be authentic with ourselves. We have to look in our lives, you know what, where am I in my life? You know, someday we're going to check out this planet, you know, someday. So what have we done with our lives? Where are we? And I think the best way to, for me to kind of awaken the awareness, and I know that those of you that are on this, on this webinar, um, and there will be many others that will be looking at this webinar, that ask yourself the question, where are we? And, and I think one of the, the pictures that best to help us depict that is a map of the mall. You know, when you go to a shopping mall, and if you want to go to a particular shop, um, you will go to the directory, and when you go to the directory, you know, let's say you want to try to find out where a shopping mall here in the United States, a famous shopping mall, it's called Nord I mean, a, a store, it's called Nordstrom, okay? So if you were to, wanted to go to Nordstrom, a department store, in order for you to get to Nordstrom, we must identify what? What's the first thing we're going to identify? Where we are. For if we don't know where we, where we are, how can we navigate our path to go to where we wanted to go. And so uh, this is something that I, I was blessed with a gift to, to really hone in and look at my life. So where am I? If doing whatever you are doing, and maybe you are doing well, and maybe not, whatever that might be, is it going to take you to where you want to go? And oftentimes, many people, have beaten up, you know, by life and in life, at least it's a perception we look at things, that we begin to stop asking the question of what we can be or where we wanted to go. So I think, you know, all of us, it doesn't matter where we are. The people, the picture that I shared with you earlier, they are no different than people like you and I. We are normal people. We are good people. Uh, we happen to be educated people. Uh, but we are sincere group, but we're authentic. We wanted something more. So as you look at this, we all, as human beings in this human race, I think it's about time that we, we be genuine with ourselves. Where am I? Doing whatever you're doing. Is it going to bring you more meaning? Is it going to bring you satisfaction? Is it going to bring you security to your family? And, and I think this is something that we all have to, to, to investigate, uh, these hard questions, uh, because after all, it's our own lives that we have to face. And so... The reason why I, I, I spend a little time to go over all that is be, because these are what I call the fundamentals of success. you got to have clarity of where you are and where you want to go. And when you have that clarity, then I've gone over the passion. Now, how do you get your passion? It's realizing and having the hope, having the ability and the space to hope and to dream that gives one passion. What is your passion? What is something that, that, that makes you want to get up every day and go to work? And so, because when you have clarity plus passion, that's your belief. That's gonna help you jump through hoops to get you where you are, where you wanted to go. I remember when I started this business six years ago, almost six years ago in September, with a couple of my friends in my kitchen right here. Um, there was There's five of us. Um, no one made a dime yet. Nobody made any products. Nobody used the product yet. So nobody saw the results yet at that time. And so how did we go about and collectively to be where we are here today? You know, if I were to reflect on that journey, it's these two fundamentals, having clarity of where you are and where you want it to go and what it is that you got a hold of. We gotta be willing and brave enough to remove the past judgments, the past perception of whatever that is, and embrace what is. And having the passion to go after your dream. When you have those two, that's gonna give you belief to go to the next level. And so and there are other components to achieve success. And so after having the two most important to me, the most important fundamental things. Then the next couple of things that we need, the components to achieve success right here, 
uh, uh, three things, okay? Three major things. One is time. We got to give it time. Uh, you know, some people coming in and they want to be a millionaire next day. Ain't going to happen, okay? You got to put in time and effort. You know, it's very interesting. You know, this is, it, to me, this is really, this business is like a university of life. You know, yes, it's a business, but at the same time, it is like a life reflecting right in front of my face. I get to look at different dynamics and different dynamics of who I am and, and who I thought I was um, and how I handle situations. And you will also get the opportunity to, to it's a mirror looking at yourself. And so um, give it time. You know, I know for me, when I was going to college, I, w I spent four years in college every day, relentlessly, whether I like it or not. You know, get up, you know, go to school. After school, I had to work a part-time job and get to put myself through school. And so I had to put in four years of college, then, you know, and incur a bunch of student loans, and then go find a job. Now, interestingly, now you have a business opportunity and many people are not willing to learn. If you want to become successful, give yourself the time to learn and grow in this business. You know, it, it's learning, it's, it's, and then we're going to give you the method in which how you're going to conduct the business. So give yourself time. It's like, you know, I want it, I want it now. Just, just, just give me everything. You got to give yourself time. If this is a, you know, it could be a, depending on how your speed in which you are awakened to it, you're alert to it and the way you adapt to it. So it, this is, to me, it's a two to five year plan, okay? So some of you get it earlier, some of you do it a little sooner, some of you get it a little later, but whatever it is, the way I look at it, in the last six years, we are all in line, getting in line. It's like all of us are getting in line to go somewhere to success because I have seen it happen of people all over the globe. I have seen single moms that are able to, you know, pay off their kids a college, you know, and before they couldn't even afford to send their kids to college. But because of this platform, because of this business, it has allowed them to, to be totally financially free. Okay. So give it time. And the second thing we need, the components, we need people, friends, network. And so I, I you know, for me, I mean, over the years, we all have built up a roller dexes. I mean, now it's not roller dexes, like on a smartphone, our contacts, um, our friendships. Uh, if not, you know, they're, they're, with social media, we all have, you know, hopefully uh, many of us have Facebook friends and, or whatever. So we have a sphere of influence. You need a network of people to build this business, okay? And, and last but not least, method. The method in which you conduct this business and which one I'm talking about. So after we get all that part done, so how, how do we conduct the business? A method in which we do it. Now, why do we need a method? We need, to, to me, to, to have success in a business, true success is about duplication and sustainability. You know, some people have success for, 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 for a year or two, but to build a long-term wealth, we need to be able to duplicate our efforts, to duplicate whatever we're doing, at the same time to be able to sustain that success. And so that's why in order for us to have duplication and sustain sustainability, we need to have a method, a proven method in which we conduct our business. And so um, we, we have laid out the outline for you. For those of you that have subscribed to um, uh, my YouTube channel, and you probably got a notice. Uh, we had just revamped. Thank you for some amazing, amazing, talented people. Um, we were able to revamp uh, and restructure the uh, the YouTube channel to provide that in alignment for you to help build your business. And so uh, I'm gonna go over real quickly what you what you do. And for those of you that if you have not gone into the YouTube channel, you can go to Kim Hui official channel and you will see the playlist. It's all categorized for, for us, okay? So after enrollment, number one, what do we gotta do? We gotta get trained. It's like going to college. I mean, is it going to four years and then get a job and earn money? Right here, we have something called you earn while you learn. 
Okay, so uh, you get trained. Now, uh, in the in the uh, YouTube channel, there's something called the NDO. Okay, and so uh, again, as we as we grow, as we have more content, we're going to be uploading all new content. And so, for those of you that have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. This so it's all free for you. And so, NDO stands for New Distributor Orientation. It kind of walks you through the business back office, uh, what to do, and, and what are some of the things to do, okay? And then um, the second thing you're gonna watch is called Success Fundamentals, such as this one. This is one of the series of Success Fundamentals, uh, the new paradigm. And so this uh, webinar will be recorded, and so you can actually, uh, uh, will be uploaded very soon, uh, in a day or two. And then there's also uh, uh, something called Jump Started Training. Uh, by and, and, it's, and all the people that are on these channel are the top producers, people that are proven in the business. I, I don't know too many businesses out there that will allow you that people that have made millions, uh, that are willing and able and ready to share with you and open their heart to tell you how they get to where they where they got to. And and sometimes business is so simple to do, and these steps are so simple to do where other people are not willing to invest the time. And I literally have someone that tells me, you know, say, Kim, you know, tell me the secret, tell me how to do it. I said, you know what, go watch the NDO. And they say, no, just tell me. I said, listen, in order for us to have a common language when we talk, you gotta take the time to watch it. So that's one of the components to success, time. Taking the time to watch these videos. Now, why do we need to watch videos? First, it's called leverage. You get to leverage the efforts of other people. That how would you like to have some of the top producers, someone like an Yvonne, like a Samson, to do the talking fold for you? Instead of us doing the talking, we let, allow other people to help us leverage our efforts. Why you want to leverage? Because of time and also because something called duplication. You know, a lot of times, especially a lot of times, especially with traditional business owners, they like to make themselves the issue. They like to be the one to do the training. They like to be the one to do all the talking. I suggest get it out, just get that out of the way. Let get ourselves out of the way so that we can truly produce something called duplication and sustainable success. Okay. And so uh, there is a step one. There's another interview that was conducted in my other home. Uh, there's an interview that that the Samson had done. So the step one is getting trained. So these are some of the videos that was categorized in the YouTube channel. And step two, for those of you that okay, you know what? You you watch the video, you got trained, you're really pumped, you're excited. So what do I do? How do I go about pitching the business? Well, step two is about building your business. And so the first step is to connect with your prospect. Um, you know, I believe if you are able to connect with your prospect properly, half the, half the job is done. What do I mean by that? When you have a clarity and passion, that's your belief. When you talk to your friends and your contacts about well, how you felt and what you saw and where you're going, I tell you, half the job is done. And too often times when we connect with our friends, we are so concerned and worried about what our contacts think of us. You know what? We gotta get over that. Whatever they think of us, regardless, they think of you anyways, okay? So um, if, the way you, if you're able to talk with that passion, that clarity, and that conviction, that's your belief, half the job is done. Because it's not about selling, it's not about selling anything. It's about sharing a new paradigm. Okay. So after you share with them, you're excited and you want to show them. So what what are some of the things that you, you can introduce them to? So we have some intro videos. Okay. The intro videos are technology. They're, why do we need to use other videos? Because we need third party edification. Okay. It's just society are so consumed with media. So they like to hear, like for example, uh, there there's a video uh, by uh, on, on ABC News whereby it talked about Dr. Nathan Newman. Okay, that's a technology that we that we're involved with. And so when people look at that, they go, you know what? That's interesting because the third party media somehow, somewhat, it gives it more credibility than perhaps a housewife here. And and yet this housewife is blessed, not only in terms of changing my life, but at the same time, it's allow me. To, to, to grow to be a much better person, okay? And so um, so the intro videos, and there's another video by um, a special uh, that talked about resveratrol. Now, Barbara Walter does not endorse 
uh, uh, our company or the opportunity. But she does talk about resveratrol, which is one of the key ingredients in, in our product. And so these are the technology I like to share with people. It's a good teaser. Uh, it, it's not talking about the opportunity, but it's a teaser to open up people's minds. You know what? That here's something that we're, we're getting involved with, okay? So once people got a, got a little interest, first with your story, your passion, what you've gotten a hold of, and so it, it, the bottom line is this, people are looking for what's in it for me. So if you're able to help them to think about, you know what, I also need to look at, look at my life. Where am I going? Where am I? And so am I ever going to get to where I really want it to go, better than staying on that treadmill of life? Okay, and so so once people say, you know what, you got the teaser, they're interested, then you say, so, well, tell me more. Well, you can then uh, 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 send them to the, the, the link. We have, there is a, a, a showcase done by, to me, in my opinion, the best of the best. Uh, not, not only in terms of entrepreneur, but, but people with an amazing heart that you have Yvonne Yen and, and Samson, and these two are people that have rise to the ranks. They have reached uh, the highest rent with a company called Double Diamond. So we have, it's done professionally, okay? So it was done at a TV studio, okay? So they, they, they talked about in 10 minutes, they showcase the opportunity. Now, what does that mean? It took away the burden from you trying to explain everything. Wouldn't it be nice, instead of you spending 30 minutes talking to your prospect, explaining everything, you send them a link, have them watch it, or you there watch it with them 10 minutes. So make it more duplicatable, and, and so, so the business is not depending on you. There is a system in place to help you duplicate your business, okay? Now, and then also for people that don't have access to, at the time, maybe they don't have the access to, to look at the video or the link on YouTube, or well, we have, we have a, a, a pre-recorded uh, webinar, and these webinars are 10, 15 minutes long, so you can send it to them. So you let other people do the presenting for you, okay? So step two is, it's building your business. So if you haven't visited the YouTube channel, I suggest you go visit it and send a link. But don't just send a link to your prospect. Tee it up first. You know, your prospect, the way they look at things. First, they got to connect with you. Why are you doing this? Okay. Second, then you tee up the information you're going to send them, which is right there on, on, on the screen and also on the YouTube channel. Okay. And so the step number three on building your business is to follow through. Once people are connected, now, uh, sometimes you don't have to send them a video. For, for those of you that have access to local meetings, and, and, and for, for those of you that are fortunate enough to be in Southern California and Los Angeles particularly, we have meetings going on throughout Los Angeles. And we also have weekly webinars. So you can pique their interest, connect with them, and then connect them to the webinar, okay? Or take them to local meetings or, or regional events. So you let other people help you showcase your business. So the only thing you have to do is to get through to your people uh, without too lengthy and share with them how you felt and how you feel and what you, where you can get out of this. And so, um, and then after the follow through, after they saw what they, they, they excited, enroll them, just get them started. It's, it's that simple. We are not here to sell anything. <laughs> All I'm doing is showcasing an opportunity that possibly can too help you change your life, like it, like it changed for us. And so just that sorting process. So there's a system in place. Instead of us trying to go, we create all the script and all this stuff. I, I, I personally do not like script because I don't like to be sold to. So I'm sure your friend don't like to be sold to either. Just share with your heart, connect them with what you saw, and then boom send information to them and let them make their own decisions, okay? So once they saw what they saw, they liked what they saw, enroll them. Then what do we do? Then you repeat step one. Once they're enrolled, what do they do? They got to do step one, do the training, okay? Everything that we just want, it's about duplication. Why do we need to duplicate? We do duplication because we want to sustain our business to have long-term success. So duplication is very key. Now, so again, I talked about this, to me, it's not only a business, it's a school, it's a university of life. It's life academy, okay? So, it, and it takes time. So, there is a part on the channel called Continue Education. Um, you know, I don't know. It, it's very interesting in that a lot of people want to make a fortune. They want to make millions. And yet, they're not willing 
to train right between our two ears. To make millions, we gotta upgrade our thinking. You know, many people wanna change their income and yet they don't wanna change their old paradigm. So, you know, to me, here's a proven model, a proven success. We have taken time to upload all these uh, trainings on the wheel when we're doing expeditions around the world. So all that's available. So on the continued education, so continue to learn continue to grow as a human being because you know what to me this is about transformation you know transforming uh, our financial world our financial landscape at the same time transforming what's in here and what's in here bringing out the best uh, to really help humanity and so for all of us that you know I'm very blessed to be surrounded by incredible people uh, you know, these people are above and beyond business partners to me. Uh, they are family. They are friends. And so, uh, you know, a lot of times we'll say, you know, Kim, you know, and all these diamonds and double diamonds, and they, they've, they've achieved, you know, in, in the pinnacle of success, in, in quote, unquote. Um, why are they still traveling? Why are they still doing all that? It's about paying it forward and passing it on. Uh, I've been very blessed uh, of having the opportunity and the courage to examine my life and to, in that course, to help change my life. And I wanna help pay it forward. And I'm sure, I'm sure you do wanna do the same thing too. So for, you know, just like all these incredible team of people that we have, um, they all are paying forward around the globe. Here are some of the diamonds and, and, and the double diamonds. It's just a small fraction of it that's going on. And so I do hope that you take this information, embrace it, learn it, and embrace it and apply it because you too can change your life. And by doing that, let's pay it forward and pass it on. So thank you very much for being a part of this, this uh, webinar. And uh, I, I am committed to bringing on more and more series and more and more trainings to help make a difference uh, in our lives at the same time to make a positive impact to the world. Thank you very much. See you next time.